Hey guys, welcome back to the Pokey Shed, and today we are going to be cracking a case of Brilliant Stars. So we have six booster boxes here. I crack open the case of it, and we're going to rip these open. So we're going to do uh, three boxes in today's video, and three boxes in Wednesday's video. So I'm going to probably start the first couple packs off slow, and then we're just going to rip and go, because this is going to take a while to get through three boxes. Uh, I'm not going to speed run or anything, but I will uh, I will run through these pretty quickly. So this was a, a box I had lying around. I was going to keep it for long term, but we have a card show coming up in a week's time. So I need some uh, product for the uh, some singles. So I figured I'd just uh, rip some of this. I do need to complete some binders as well with some brilliant stars things and I wouldn't mind having a few Charizards for the Grade Paw. So it seemed like one of the better sets to crack. So let's get right into this and uh, like I said we'll crack three boxes today and uh, see how we do. Four. All right we'll start with just that first slow roll and then we'll just get into ripping. And that Magmar, Riolu, Fermi, Staryu, Energy, Team Yell, Team Chino, Cleansing Gloves. We got a Houndoom off to rip. So I don't need any of these character cards. And Cling Clang. I have all the basic character cards. And I do need some of the Vs and Vmaxes. But still not a bad start. Alright, let's just rip and go. That'll take way too long doing it the slow way. So we'll just get right into it. So we got a Garchomp and a Mewtwo. Boom, boom. Hey guys, code for you guys. So first hit, RCS V. Nice hit there. One of the better V's in the set. So I'm not gonna sleeve anything unless it's crazy rare, guys. Gloria and Mothin. Okay, I gotta get my paws down path here so we can try to speed this up. All right. See, like I said, need it. The product for the show, uh, not just boxes. So figured I'd crack one of these. Nothing there. And uh, no, I just. It was just sitting there, and I was like, I want to sell it. I'm trying to downgrade my steel product. I was like, I want to sell it. I want to crack it. I said, more than likely, there's at least one Charizard in here. So, hoping there is anyway. I'm hoping for two. I'm hoping for the rainbow and the uh, the alt art, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully, we get at least one of them to cover the uh, cost basis. So, Cherubi and Lyperd. Boom. Let go there. All right. Gonna rip and go. So as I'm at the, the, the swiftest at this. So Infernape and Breezel. All right. So we got a Hunch Crow V. Not a whole lot yet. It's pretty slow goes to start. Two V's and a character. So I'm gonna get the RCS V, which is a good one. Um we got muck and spirit tomb. So if you missed anything, guys, we did open some last origins there last video too. Uh like in the new set, I think Redactyl is uh seeming pretty crazy to pull in the guarantee of the alt arts and that seem well speaking of alt art. And our first one of the case, it's a Hodge Crow V. Could have been a Charizard, but we will take it. Let's just see what the centering looks like on these alt arts in this case. You can already tell it looks a little off. It looks a little off to the left there. Same thing in the back. Hopefully they're not all like it. Like I said, it's not, it doesn't, this one wouldn't pass as a 10 can, I don't think, but we'll take the alt art. Um, the altars look like they're a lot more 
are a lot harder to hit in the uh, new set Lost Origins. Um, I'm open, I don't know, probably close to 100 packs. So oh, we got an Eevee, close to 100 packs so far, and I haven't hit an altar yet. Oh, did I not, not even take the code out? I guess so. All right. Um, so I'm not sure exactly if they lower the pull rates for the new set or what, uh, but they're definitely harder to hit. We got a sock and a mag mortar. Um, I guess to a lot didn't realize this, but they stopped doing the altar V maxes after evolving or after fusion strike. So I think Gengar, Espeon, and Mew, and Empoleon were the last. Jeez, I almost had to open the last V max altars. So I don't know if that has changed pull rates or whatnot there too. I don't know why they stopped doing the V maxes, um, but it's just it's, I personally like the V maxes more so than the Vs, but. I guess it was a choice they made, especially when they introduced the character cards, which I think the trainer gallery makes the sets even better. All right, so keep moving. What else are we gonna talk about here today? New Charizard Ultra Premium Collection coming out. GameStop canceling everyone's order of the week. Which I'm a little disappointed in. I have two secured uh, with a couple local gaming stores. We got Zamazenta. So a couple gaming stores around here, around my area. I have t uh, one at each one uh, locked up, hopefully. And then uh, I ordered another one for 401 Games Online. And a bit of a premium. I didn't want to, but I, w I want to secure a third one just to have. Because I do plan on opening one of them. Um... But yeah, GameStop canceling kind of put a big wrench in everyone. Not everyone's a little peed off of that. I mean, you're getting it. I think what was it was at one fifty nine in tax Canadian, and now there's no boom. Cancel everyone who did it online. So I, don't know. I guess they oversold. But you think a big corporation or a big big store like GameStop would know the difference? But they did not. All right. I'm not sure. I gotta tilt this down a little bit. I feel like I'm not in the frame when I open the cards. Yeah, but the UPC looks great. Like I said, I'm gonna crack one. I need. Uh, oh, there's a character card right there. Mimikyu. I already have that one. I was looking for Sylveon or the um, Umbreon, but we will take it. But yeah, I'm looking forward to cracking one. I want those uh, those three uh, Charizards. Hopefully, the one I crack, they end up 10 cannons because I would like to grade all three of them. Uh, the one more Charizard and being sort of sleeping, I think, is my favorite one. Um, also, the one where, I guess, Charizard shooting like the fire and Mewtwo's kind of doing the Kamehameha is, uh, is pretty cool, too. That one is actually, from my understanding, these cards came from the new V-Star special set coming out in Japan in December. So I think there's a Mewtwo one that actually shows the Mewtwo firing back at the Charizard. Flag on. So I'm also excited for that Japanese set. I'll be trying to get my hands on as much of that as possible too. I'll probably crack a couple boxes of that. I don't know if there's going to be shinies in that one or not, or if it's just going to be like a basically an all art, alt art set. And then we got a Ranguru. But yeah, that new Japanese set in December. Waiting for it to drop on the Japanese Pokemon Center website. I'll get it on the raffle. But usually you only get a box or two that way, so I'm going to have to be keeping an eye out for some uh, decent eBay prices on that set too. Clap Stadium and Excalibur. What do we have here for hits? We got one, two, three characters, a character V Max, an alt art, and four regular Vs. So it should still be a full art or secret rare in here, hopefully. And there's the full art. Bam, we got a Flygon V. So this one's off center a little bit too. So Flygon V in there. No, uh, 
think I need this one for the full art bonder, so I will slip a sleeve on him. All right, we'll keep going. So there might be a V or full art, or actually a V star. I would say there's a V star left in this. Maybe a Charizard would be nice. Oh, no, we got a rainbow. So obviously not the Charizard rainbow, but rainbow nonetheless. So nice Roseanne's back up. I think these rainbow trainers go less than what their um, regular full art trainer counterparts go for. All right, there we go. So we got we got a V Max. Oh, this mat's kind of funny on me. So pretty good hit so far. Like I said, not that like that rainbow could have been a Charizard, that alt art could have been a Charizard, but we still got four more boxes to get through today and uh, Wednesday. So let's see how we do. No more than one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven hits. Now there were no radiance in this one, so I think it was around eleven or twelve was the hit ratio. So we pretty much there. Like I said, we might get a regular V star. We haven't hit one of those yet, so I can, I can see us getting a V star, and that'll be it for the uh, this box. Guard Chomp and Piplop. Minchino and Martin. So yeah. Um, hoping those Charizard boxes, they come well cut. I'd like to grade them. I wonder what packs come in too. Hoping there's a little heavy on the um, newer sets. Hope they don't throw in. So we got Shaman. I hope they don't throw in older sets like the Vivid and the Darkness of Blaze. Uh, and like the fusion and the battle styles. I like to see some brilliant stars, some evolving skies, last origins, and a new set. No, the new set won't be out by then. So maybe some astral as well. So we might not get a V star in this one, guys. This could be a non V star box. So we're gonna have a 11 hitter or a 12 hitter. We got 12 actually. So that's the standard for a. Brilliant Stars box. Do, 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 do. Two more to go. Can we get some last pack magic? Lucario. Oh, we got Vaporeon. So that brings our hit total of 13, I believe. Pretty good hit ratios. Uh, cool card. All right, yeah. So we had one VMAX character. One, two, three, four more characters. So that was five out of the trainer gallery set. One, two, three, four, five Vs. And a full art, alt art, and a rainbow. So five, six, seven, eight. So 13 hits. Pretty good. All right, on to our next box. So I'm going to try to do my best to keep this video under 30 minutes. So I'm going to try to rip a little bit faster here. All right, let's get into it and start ripping. So this and Evolving, well, I would say this is a more, a better set to rip than Evolving Skies. Uh, you can, I guess, argue with that, but I find your, your hits are just so much better. Evolving Skies, you have all those evolutions and Rapaza alt arts, but it's just the odds of hitting one in a case. So we got the Earth Fruit. Keep getting repeats. I've already had that guy too. The odds of getting those in a box or a case are like a lot lower than say getting like something decent in this set which I say we get those trainer gallery cards and like especially if it's the uh, 
I'm Brianna and Sylvia on this one. They're like they're twenty, thirty dollar cards. I hate these sleeves. Alright, we'll keep ripping here. Let's just put regular sleeves on and sort of after. Depending on what binder it is, I use different sleeves. Alright, so our first VMAX. Uh, trainer Gallery Pool is an Ursha Fu out of box two. It's a nice one there. We got a gold Arceus. Fortunately, I already pulled this guy, but it's a nice pool. I think it's still around a $40 to $50 card. Centering looks pretty decent on the back. Maybe a little top heavy. Let's see that up. He might. Uh, he might go in the grade pile. So he'll replace the flygon. So gold card, that's a nice secret rare pull. So we pulled the VMAX. So we might have pulled the best two cards already in this box in the gold and the uh, trainer gallery VMAX. Typically, you only get one trainer gallery VMAX or gold, I guess, per box. And you usually only get one secret rare, but now we did have the alt and the rainbow in the other box, so maybe a shot at another rainbow or another alt in this box. Freshwater and Mothin. Speaking of Arceus, you know, I pulled one. Anyone pre order from GameStop that Arceus, uh, the Arceus uh, UPC? It's looking nice with a couple metal cards that they are reprints. But uh, like a couple metal cards. Other than that, it seems pretty lackluster. Like there's no. You get your packs, and then that's basically it. Do, 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 do. So. Uh, I ordered one. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep it sealed or crack it. Or crack it. See what the price of the uh, Gramble. See what the price of the metal cards do. I feel like they're worth it just to buy raw. I might just buy them raw and uh, look at potentially keeping that one sealed. I don't know if PSA is ever going to open up that grading for the metal cards. I have a few, a couple Charizards here that I want to send. I think I got three that might get. That have 10 potential out of all the ones I've bought or opened. So, hoping PSA, there's a Jolteon. Hoping PSA opens up soon for those metal cards. Also, I should have a PSA return coming back in the next month. It's from January of 2021. They said they're through most of the Mimikyu VMAX. They're through most of the backlog. However, I still haven't heard anything on that order. And rumor mill is that the middlemen companies, so this one I went through with Ludkins, are drawing a lot of financial financial situations with uh, trying to pay off the orders because of uh, just mismanaged money and people canceling orders and whatnot before. So hopefully they, uh, they get that situated and we get our cards back soon. Do, 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 do. So, we got a box and a half here now, and no Charizard yet. Like I said, I'm hoping for one. Would be, I'm expecting one, I should say. Hoping for two. Would be really happy with two or three, but... We'll see, it's slow goes so far, but like I said, we do have four other boxes. Not guaranteed a Charizard in the case, but you think you're opening six boxes, you get a, a look at one. All right, might have to move this bulk call here in a second. Do, 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 we got Zarude. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six hits so far. So we got a V, a V Max, two V's, a V Max, character, character V Max, and the gold Arceus. 
don't remember what the other gold cards are in the set, or if it was only the. Oh, you have the the legendary birds, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno are in this set as gold cards, and then you have the the two Urshifu's in the trainer gallery. Oh, that was something different. It's just a Simiseer. I'm gonna adjust my chair for a second, guys. There we go. Ripping into this case as quick as we can. Off of that one. Da, 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 da. Let's see what else has come up in the Pokemon community. We had the new Silver Tempest coming out in November. The set looks pretty good, especially with the, the announcement of the Lugia recently. It'll be interesting to see if they do or if they have a Lugia alt art. I'd like to, I'd like to have a Lugia alt art similar to the Charizard. Uh, we've seen the V, the V Star, uh, the V Star extra art from the, I guess, promo collection box. So there we go. We pulled an alt art. So I believe I pulled a box very similar to this before where I had both the gold and the Altar Arceus in the same box. I'm gonna check back through the channel. I don't know if I can post it on the channel or not, but again, this Altar looks like it's a little heavy. Yeah, see, heavy right to left. So this is not a gradable Altar, unfortunately. That's still a 50 to $60 card, I believe. So nice. RC salt. So that, that could be it for like the secret rares and all parts in this, this box. I guess the best hope now is a, a Charizard full art maybe. Or uh, I don't know if we can get a second VMAX character card. But maybe an Umbreon or one of the two gold or Shifus. Or a full art trainer maybe. I haven't had no full art trainers yet. So Also the, I think the cards I need complete for Brilliant Stars. I need the Prodigy and the Pikachu Full Art. I need the other Urshifu VMAX. I need one of the Urshifu uh, V Trainer Galleries. Uh, I have the Sylveon Umbreon, but they're going to get graded, so I'd like Bonder copies for those. Um, what else was in this set? I can't remember. A couple more in it too. I've opened a lot of Brilliant Stars. This might be the last bit of Brilliant Stars I open actually. Uh, after that, I'll just buy the cards I need for the, uh, the remainder of the set. But I figured it's a safe bet as if you get one Charizard, it covers a nice bit of the cost if graded at 10. So that was the play here. So far, two boxes in, no Zard yet. Jolteon, this is our second Jolteon. It might be our first repeat card, actually. I don't know if we repeated on any of the Vs or not. I don't think we did. So we didn't have a Gramble, we didn't have a... Well, we repeated on the Jolteon in this box, actually. It's our second Jolteon from this box. Oh, we got a Mimikyu. Where we at hit-wise here? See, Arceus and Arceus has two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, ten compared to thirteen last time. Can we get at least one, maybe two more? Said so that alt art might have taken away our chance at a full art, so we might be done. This could just be a ten hitter box. Let's see, we only got three characters, so I'm, I'm guessing there's definitely at least one character card left. So we have just the two Jolteons, which, I mean, if you, you're open the box, you don't want to double up. So we got the VMAX, one, two, three, four Vs, two characters, and the character VMAX. So I think there's going to be one more character card. And maybe not. Maybe we are done, because we only have one pack left. All right, last pack magic. Can we get a character card? Oh yeah, we got the oh a double oh the Raichu. We needed the Raichu. 
Nice double hitter pack. That's that was a great way to end that box. So Fresh Food V Max Gold and the Raichu. Nice pulls there. So I don't need this Urshifu, but still a nice one to pull anyway. And so he's not top tier, I don't think. And the Raichu I need for my full art binder. So it's only the Pikachu left. I still need the Marnie and there was a male full art trainer I need it too. All right, I'm gonna showcase these guys in the middle. Let's put that Raichu here. Oopsie. All right, so we're gonna get the one more box. So we have the 12 hitters there. So we have the two Urshifus. Mimikyu, Jolteon, Simiseer, Zaru, Mimikyu, Jolteon, Gramble. And then we had the Arceus, the Arceus, and the Rod Shoe there in the back. All right, third box for tonight. And then we'll, uh, we will get into the other half of this case on Wednesday. Got 26 minutes, guys, so don't think I'm going to be able to keep this under 30. But let's try to rip through this as quick as we can. So, Charizard, can we hit one before we call it off tonight? Well, that stack, I should have moved this. Let's move some of this out of the way. Doom. Doom. Okay, there we go. So that bulk pod the way and sort that after. Now oh, these are harder to open. So we are definitely not gonna get below 30 here tonight. That's gonna be annoying. Yeah, so silver tempest around that there. Yeah, so the Lugia is, I believe it's gonna be a. Uh, a nice set to open. Lugia will definitely make the uh, set worth it, especially if they put an alt art in it. Uh, there should be trainer gallery cards in it. The Vulpex uh, is nice in there, the Logan Vulpex. So a few good cards coming out of that. Nope, wrong pile. So I'm excited for that. I'll definitely make a big, not a big pre-order, but I'll make a, a decent size pre-order for that. Probably crack two or three boxes of that. Uh, typically with new sets, like lots of ones are gonna crack two boxes. And that's it's usually my minimum. I'll usually crack two boxes minimum and then the rest I'll decide at a later time if it's gonna be worth it. All right, those goes on the hits in this one so far. Is this gonna be our dud box? Oh, we got Dracofish. I don't know if we've doubled up on the V's yet, which is, again, if you're going for a set completion, that's pretty good. Uh, the, only thing we, the only thing I think we did double up on was that Jolteon. So, trying to complete the set definitely helps. Now, obviously, with a six boxes, I think we're going to eventually double up on some V's. But if you don't double up on, oh, can't complain with doubling up on Charizard. But if you don't double up on the full arts and stuff, like, oh, we got something here, Bolton V. I do believe I needed that one for my binder. Boom, boom. So we will get a, I got these sleeves on that one. So nice Bolton V. Just put that there for now. So first character hit. So typically when you get a V, there's still a chance at a V max. What the uh, see? I have no Sylveon or Umbreon yet, which is a little disappointing. No Charizards yet. Not even a full art V star. I don't know if we've even had a V star yet. There's a Shaman V star. A um, Wims has got V Star, Arceus V Star, and the Charizard V Star, the four regular V Stars in the set. So, not one of them yet. 
Charizards are definitely. The, oh my god, are you kidding? Charizards are definitely the ones you want to pull in this set. Uh, like to get. Let's see, if you're getting V stars, let's get one of those. If you're getting full arts, obviously the Charizards one you want. If you're getting alt arts, Charizard, and Rainbow Charizard, so that's what you wanna wanna be pulling. I think in a PSA 10, I believe the alt art is at about 500 Canadian, and the rainbow is at 450 ish, I believe. I haven't looked recently, but the last time I did this, what they were at. So, we're we at three hits for this so far one, two hits. Two hits so far. The Dracofish and the Bolton. So, this is going to have to pick up soon. Dude, dude, I gotta stop putting them in the wrong spot. This is probably gonna get sorted after. Hey, we're almost through the first half of the box and we've only had two hits. Not good, not good. I've seen some pretty bad boxes too, so. I think some of the, the worst Brilliant Stars, I think, was a seven hit box. Which, not bad compared to like the Sun and Moon Air, but for Brilliant Stars, you're gonna want more than that. Yeah, the Shame and V-Star. Much better than what it was. So a lot of these V-Stars are, again, bulk pricing. Charizard and Arceus are the ones that aren't. Shame and Winsicott are. Just got Aggron. So still haven't doubled up on a V, which is craziness. Alright, so four hits in the first half of this box unless there's something in this one and we got a hound doom so five hits it's not bad it's a little below average you want about six per side but we might get seven in here i think i see something in this one nope just an inferno Alright, so almost through this box. Roseanne and Clefable. the last thing we'll talk about is the new Scarlet and Violet. How's everyone feeling about the EX series coming back? Personally, oh, we got all creamy and an Arceus. So first double up on the V. And first we double up on the High Noom too. Uh, personally, I would like to, them to make it uh, like the original EX. Like EX Air, not the XY uh, black and white EXs. Have like that that EX pattern that they use with the originals, but it looks like they're going with the XY EX pattern. So we got a rapid style mustard. We already got that guy too, I believe. We might not though. I think we're missing one of them. I don't know if it's rapid style or single style, but we'll put the put that there. No secret rare yet. There are these there. No secret rare full art. So we're still waiting for one of those, hopefully. But yeah, with Scarlet and Violet. Like I said, we'll see now what they do in terms of like full arts, rainbows, alt arts, uh, character cards, what, what they want to continue on with the DX air. I'm assuming they're going to continue on with the full arts. Um, you would think that with the popularity of the alt arts they're going to continue on with them too um i can see rainbows going and replace maybe the, just to keep the gold cards but time will tell not a big fan of like the motorized version of like pokemon like the motorcycles and airplanes and whatnot i know it's like a new mechanic for the game but Oh, we got something. Charizard V-Star, there we go. So that should be a nice 
15 to 20 dollar card now i believe so yeah it's uh like i don't know they're they're taking away like the the they're making pokemon more digimon-esque i guess all right a few more packs guys and then we're done still a chance for a full art though hopefully it's another v this is amazenta Maybe the Charizard. Control in there. See what happens. So we got two V-Stars. One, two, three, four Vs. Two characters. And two character fours. So we moved down with the characters. Like I said, it should be. I'm hoping our secret rare or full art or alt art left. But we shall see. Do two V-Stars take up that full art? Hopefully not. So I think we've pulled every V except for the Charizard. The two Arceus. Arceus, I think, besides Charizard. Arceus might even be better than Charizard, regular V. I'm not sure. Oh, there's our rainbow. It's our full art trainer, and it's very off-center. Not so much on the back, but you look on the front, it's right at the top. Don't want rainbow trainers, you want rainbow Pokemon. But here we are. So three boxes and no alt or rainbow Zard. It's looking bleak. Hopefully the second half picks it up for us. Alright. How many few packs left? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're at eleven hits. So one more. Can we get a full art? Alt art? Highly doubt it. This could be like a one of the lower boxes, but we'll see. One, two, four character cards. So maybe one more character, one more. I think we should get one more hit. Don't know what it's going to be, but one more of something. I guess to 11, I would say. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, we're at 11 now. So we're going to get one to bring us to 12. So this is going to be our worst box yet. There we go. Just a double bulk hit. So that should do it for the box. Don't think there's gonna be anything else in this last pack. But you never know. Do we have a full art in here? Do we have a full art? No. So we're through half the box or half the case. No Charizard Alt Art or Charizard V Star Rainbow yet. I guess our best two hits were these two guys, the gold and the alt art there. Um and then we did hit a couple of rainbow trainers, which you'd like to see as rainbow uh, Charizard. But other than that, it wasn't too bad. So check us out again on Wednesday, guys. I'm going to hit the other three boxes. Hopefully we get through this a little bit faster than what we did tonight. Until next time, enjoy.